Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Wizard 101 Balance Walkthrough. Today's video is just going to be a little update video on my character. Just pretty much all off screen stuff that I did to help better perf the better performance of my uh, dueling and for the feel of my character at home at Wizard City. Uh, before we get started with the home tour, uh, I reached level 10 off screen because I was literally that close enough that I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. I did save the acquiring of the new spell that we're going to obtain just for you guys. So let's get that spell right now. One I'm really excited for, it's Locust Swarm. I'll be using this throughout the rest of the walkthrough until I've reached uh, Sandstorm because this is pretty much the best spell I can do at the moment. So let's train that up. It's 245 to 305 with an 85%. And it's only three pips, so it's pretty good. Use three of those. Okay, uh, hopefully get to get four when I uh, upgrade my deck eventually. Uh, as for everything else, uh, I shouldn't have anything new of uh, my armor. So let's head over to the house. And here we... Where's my stuff? I thought it comes with more stuff. I'm joking, I actually have a different home. Uh, I have a preset home uh, made for me from an, my old balance character. So we're gonna teleport right there. Because I'm not using the dorms. This is the home I bought in my old account and I couldn't part with it because as much of how different it would be for a balance wizard, I, I, I just love it. I just love it. So let's do the tour. On our left here in the little perch is where I'll be storing most of my tournament mounts. I have an old one from my old account that I will only be using during Christmas time because it is the Christmas flying carpet. I love it. And he apparently can fly out of this area whenever he wants while I'm here, so just like that. Alright, let's go over to the, through the outside first before we go into the main home. There's the door to the spiral and the staircase leading to that other side. Right on top of here, another feature of the old uh, account that I had is this pet it's the longest running pet I ever had during my old account. It's not really good, obviously, but it's it, it's dear to my heart from when I first started playing Wizard. His name is Coco, and I love him so much. You will never be getting rid of. You'll be staying up here in your little perch, or walking that way if you want to. Over here, I used to have all my pets over here, but I found it not being a good spot. It actually is a good spot for gardening, which is when my old character used to garden all around here I had to delete all of them or let some of them die as you can see just so I can uh, store this house and give it back to me or to this new character uh, a lot of open spots I haven't unlocked gardening yet but when I do that uh, I hope to fill every single plot without letting everything die hopefully All right, and over here, uh, this little structure, if anyone knows, uh, doesn't do anything. I wish it would lead to like a little, like a little shack in here so I can put stuff in it, but it, it's just there for uh, decoration. The main area is the boat. I used to have a statue up here, but uh, I had to get rid of it when I had to move it over to this character, and I lost the statue. So I will when I get a new statue, I'll definitely put it at the front of the boat, but until then it's gonna remain empty. Here's the entrance. And here is the entrance to the uh, to my boat. On my right will be pretty much my bedroom where I keep my armor and stuff. Or pretty much the wands I'll be collecting throughout each each five levels and stuff when I update my my wands of a very nice painting that I somehow found and on the left side we have my crafting and study room I have the tower shield right there with the jewel crafting it's not really a jewel crafting station it's just another piece that looks like a jewel crafting station and we have some books and jewels and scrolls 
a chest, and a picture of my favorite world, uh, Carpetopia, the Oasis. And obviously we have to have a balance symbol somewhere because this is the balance walkthrough with the balance character. Uh, haven't found anything to do with this back room yet. Uh, we'll work on that, including the front room. I have two pots over there, but uh, I'm not really going to go planting in here. I might replace them for uh, decorative plants instead. They're just They were just leftovers from my uh, dorm room. Now up here is where I'll be stirring some uh, specific items and my pets. Uh, if you've noticed, Zoe is over there. Now you're wondering, why is Zoe over there? Zoe is over there because I am switching to a new pet. I, I like Zoe. It's a, it was a good starting pet for the first few episodes, but I needed a longer lasting pet, and Zoe is not really going to do that much for me in the long run. It will, it will stay up here probably forever, but it, it was a great run. The new pet I have is Little Phoebe. And if you notice, this is a really good balanced pet, especially if you have good stats with it. Uh, I have it, I had my other characters breed and pretty much train this pet to be as, as good as I could get it to. Uh, and get it up to Ancient. I have the Balance Giver, which gives me plus four balance attack. Uh, the Unicorn may cast spell, pretty much this means I, it at any point during a duel... Uh, Phoebe will will cast this cast the unicorn spell, which will heal my, me and my teammates for a certain amount of health at any point at any time, and I and it's a great spell to have on a pet, and then balance it for the five percent balance spells that will definitely help out for the eighty five percent eighty five eighty five. All the spell, the ninety percent. This will increase those accuracy, so I can cast spells and fizzle less. Overall, Phoebe's gonna be a great spell. It also gives me two, uh, up to three spells. It doesn't get the other spell until either Epic or Mega, but it's gonna give me the Tower Shield spell and the Power Play. Let me just uh, equip little Phoebe real quick. And then we'll go to our spells. So it gives its tower shield, which pretty much uh, negative 50% on the next spell that hits me. And the power play spell is a uh, is a fielding a field spell that lasts for uh, a few turns, and it gives me a 35% power pip chance, which gives me more opportunity to cast locust swarm or scorpion near the beginning of the fight. And that is it for our tour. Uh, I wanted to take the time, uh, because it's going to be such a short video, to explain the new uh, the new set of videos that is going to be coming out. Uh, uh, after our def hilarious defeat against Lord Nightshade, I am severely uh, under-leveled to fight him or even to do the next street that uh, gets a lot tougher, especially against with a balanced wizard. So I will be doing all the side quests in the four streets that we did, plus Old Town and what was the fourth four streets in all the streets and Old Town and some of them in you know uh, in uh, Wizard City. Uh, those will be special episodes. They may take up to an hour to do, or I could separate them in two separate videos for two videos a week. I haven't decided yet, or have decided if I wanted to live stream them yet. Probably will do them in recording though. Um, so that's going to be uh, pretty much how the next videos are going to be. Uh, I'm going to save the special uh, side quest, like Penny Dreadful side quest, and the Kraken side quest for a a special a special episode when I uh, get to the point where I think I can take them on on my on myself. Penny just not being difficult, just being a special special side quest dear to people's hearts, and Kraken being difficult, and I want to see if I can do it by myself. <clears throat> by the time we get done with those side quests, I think I should be up to par with Lord Nightshade and continue on with some of the main story, and then we'll head on over to the next few streets, do their side quest, and then eventually... 
end off the Wizard City area with Golem Court, which is tradition to do before you leave Wizard City. If you don't do it, why are you even playing Wizard? I have no idea. And that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hitting that like button would be really appreciative. And if you guys liked this video, hitting that subscribe button would really help support me and the content I make. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.